my name is Sarah Kelly and I am a proud representative of Student Council. These are just a few representatives from Student Council. My name is Eli. Hi, I'm Dylan. Hi, I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm Amanda. Student Council is just one of the amazing programs at Roosevelt. Student Council is run by fourth grade teacher Ms. Nichols and Mrs. Ballesteros and fifth grade teacher Ms. Kasparian. Student Council goes from third through fifth grade. On this video tour hosted by Student Council, you will get to see Roosevelt inside and out. Enjoy the tour. <laughs> Welcome to the front of our school where the office is located. Here's the nurse's office. And this is the staff. And inside here is Dr. Meg's office. Hi, I'm Dr. Meg. Welcome to Roosevelt. Now we're on to the computer lab. Here's our computer lab. I'd like to introduce you to our fabulous teacher, Miss Yi. The fantastic thing about Roosevelt is in the beginning of the year, they give you a password and username card. So whenever you want, you could go on your computer and uh, go on your own file by typing in your password or username. We also have a website, an online website called KidFix where you use the thousands of different resources online to create your own masterpiece. We also have a reading program that helps increase your fluency in reading. There is a website called VMath Live where you can practice your math facts. You can also practice your math facts with other people around the world. This, this is, is our computer, computer lab. lab. Now, walking down from the computer lab, we have the library. Hey, welcome to the Fantastically Quiet Library. I'm Rhea. Hi, I'm Tess. Hi, I'm Gwyneth. And hi, I'm Sara. This is our wonderful librarian, Miss Antilla. Over there, you can see the This is the Bin for Returning Books Only sign. That's where when you're done with your books and come back to the library, you can return the, your books. This is where you'll come once a week with your teacher and check out a book. You will notice around the walls there are paper covers of books. Those are the new books at the library. You can also renew books. You can check out books on animals, sports, and sock monkey books. We also have a fiction section. There you can find drama, chapter books, and picture books. I know some of you will be interested in checking out the picture books. You can find those in the colored bins, like the red and blue bins. We also have encyclopedias. If you, if you don't know a word, you can just look at the encyclopedias. And then when, you can take a book log from over there and and when you read 20 books, put them on the sheet and you will get a free book from Miss Antilla. We hope you enjoyed the tour of the library. Right next to our library, we have the wonderful Roosevelt Cafeteria. Hi, I'm Eli. Hi, I'm Sebby. Hi, I'm Mick. And this is our wonderful cafeteria lady, Miss Chris. Here is where you line up against the wall to get in the cafeteria. Lunch costs $2.75 and snack costs $1.50. If you forget your PIN number, then you'll get a sticker with your number on it. And if you forget your lunch or lunch money, don't worry, you'll get a tuna cup. Choose from one, from one main dish and two side dishes. Once you're done choosing, then go to the lunch shelter and sit down. Whether you bring or buy lunch, everybody sits in the lunch shelter. After lunch, the kindergartners through third graders have their recess at the upper field. The fourth through fifth graders have their recess at the lower field. At school, we have a few clubs. Most of the clubs happen at lunch. At Lego Club, you can play with Legos. At Game Club, 
you can play with a bunch of cool games and hang out with your friends. At book club, you can read with a f few friends in a group and you read different books. Hope, Hope to see you soon. You should always know what to do after school. If your parents can't pick you up, you can go to after school programs like Log Cabin, ASD, Boys and Girls Club, YMCA, and many more. Once you get the Full Meal Wednesday folder, you can sign up. It's that easy. So, so sign up today. There are several special events that happen every year at Roosevelt. I'm going to tell you about the fall, fall picnic. And it is very fun. There's lots of good food. And they always have a raffle every year to raise, good, to raise money. Another special event is the father-daughter dance. The father-daughter dance is an opportunity for daughters to have fun with their fathers. Hi, I'm Cameron. I'm going to tell you about the spring picnic. It is another chance where you can have fun with your family and friends, just like the fall picnic. But um, there's also good food, and that's the fall, the spring fiesta. Another special event is the mother-son event. This is a favorite for Roosevelt boys because they get to challenge their moms in, a, in their own kickball game. It also has a bouncy and, as always, great food. I'm going to tell you about the last special event. It is the, called the book fair. And it happens t twice a year. It is not like any other book fair because they have knickknacks and great food. Before we end our tour, there are a couple of hits we can give you. If you're sick or hurt, you don't have to panic. Help is available. If you feel sick in class, your teacher will give you a nurse slip, and she'll send you to the nurse. Reasons to go to the nurse. If, you're, if your head hurts, you have an earache, a stomach ache, or, or, you, or you have a headache, reasons not to go to the nurse. If you have an argument with a friend, you don't want to take a test, or you're too tired to work. If you get hurt outside, go to the lunch shelter and ask for an ice pack. If you hurt your leg or back, have someone tell the yard duty. The yard duty will contact the nurse, and the nurse will bring out a wheelchair. Sometimes, if you are waiting for someone to pick you up, the nurse will let you lie down on a bed. Now you know if you're sick or hurt, that, that is what to do. If you have a big mess, you go to the office or nurse and they'll give you a change of clothes. If you have a little mess, you can just go to the bathroom and wipe it off with a wet paper towel. Hi, I'm Nathan, and I'm going to talk to you a little about the peaceful playgrounds here at Roseburg. First thing first, always keep your hands to yourself. If you don't want to get in trouble, respect this rule. Speaking of respect, always respect the supervisors because they're volunteering their time to take care of you. You will receive this handbook when you come to Roseville, and it contains all the rules you need to survive. Let me give you a little sneak peek. First, um, no running on the blacktop, and the way to solve a problem is rock, paper, scissors. Use these advices and you'll be fine. We're gonna talk to you about bullying. I'm gonna let Angela take it from here. Bullying is not right. You should always be safe and feel safe. Yeah, everyone is born equal. Why bully? Yeah, right. If you get bullied, don't take revenge. If you take revenge, then you're guilty too. Just report the problem to an adult and you'll be safe. Everyone said their part. Thank you for cooperating with us. I hope you use this advice and you'll be fine. Hope you enjoyed the tour. That's our wonderful school. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.